to show you how to make some string art today. Um, I created this for my dining room. As you can see behind me, I do like birds. So here we go. The supplies you'll need for this is a piece of wood, paint, which is optional, hammer and nails, string, sandpaper and paint pen, which is optional, and a pencil. Just some real quick info, the wood that I used is just some wood flooring that we had around the house and I just painted it the color that I um, chose. The, I just used apple barrel paint and they're like 50 cents for just a small little tube. The nails that I used for this project, most houses have the multi set of screws and nails. They're just the little white nails out of this set. I think you can buy just the nails if you go to the store. Um, we just had these on hand. So so to get started, I had the image picked out that I wanted to draw, so I quickly sketched out real lightly what I wanted that image to look like to give myself some guidelines. I wanted to give my artwork a distressed look, so I took a little bit of sandpaper, rubbed around the edges, and gave it a little bit of distressing. Part, I use a little white nails and the hammer. I went through and picked the key points where there would be transitions where the string needs to turn or to make the outline of the object that I'm trying to create. During this time you need to make sure that your nails not going to go through the wood and your nails aren't too long for the wood. Um, I decided to put a piece of wood under my piece of art so that in case I did go all the way through the wood it wouldn't hurt my table. You lightly want to tap the nails in, but you don't want the nail to go all the way in flush with the wood. You want it to stick up so you can rub the string around it. For the nails for the bird part, you want to make sure that if for every transition that you have a nail, so think about outlining the bird as simple as possible, yet being able to achieve all of the curves. For the decoration, I used two different types of string. One is actually a ribbon and the other is like a crochet string. For the branches, I used the crochet string and I just went back wrapping it around and going back to the nail prior. off this branch I just simply tied the string into a double knot and then clipped it with the scissors. you want to make sure that you are crisscrossing going across nail to nail to fill in the bird
side off, I decided to go back through and make sure that all the string was below the nail heads. Also, I used a paint pen to go on top of the nail heads to make them wide again because when I hammered them in, most of the paint came off. 